Statement by President Joe Biden on Armenian Remembrance Day. Each year on this day, we remember the lives of all those who died in the Ottoman era Armenian genocide and recommit ourselves to preventing such an atrocity from ever again occurring. Beginning on April 24, 1915, with the arrest of Armenian intellectuals and community leaders in Constantinople by Ottoman authorities, one and a half million Armenians were deported, massacred, or marched to their deaths in a campaign of extermination. We honor the victims of Medziren so that the horrors of what happened are never lost to history. And we remember so that we remain ever vigilant against the corrosive influence of hate in all its forms. Of those who survived, most were forced to find new homes and new lives around the world, including in the United States. With strength and resilience, the Armenian people survived and rebuilt their community. Over the decades, Armenian immigrants have enriched the United States in countless ways, but they have never forgotten the tragic history that brought so many of their ancestors to our shores. We see that pain. We affirm the history. We do this not to cast blame, but to ensure that what happened is never repeated. Today, as we mourn what was lost, let us also turn our eyes to the future, toward the world that we wish to build for our children, a world unstained by the daily evils of bigotry and intolerance, where human rights are respected and where all people are able to pursue their lives in dignity and security. Let us renew our shared resolve to prevent future atrocities from occurring anywhere in the world. And let us pursue healing and reconciliation for all the people of the world. The American people honor all those Armenians who perished in the genocide that began 106 years ago today. The truth at long last, at long last, the truth. Thank God, thank God. To our brothers and sisters, our mothers and fathers, our grandparents and great-grandparents in the Armenian community, let me just say how grateful I am to all of your efforts over many decades to bring this day about. I'm grateful to you that you never gave up hope, that you never lost faith, that you never stopped trying, disappointment after bitter disappointment, to call out the best in this country, to ask us to live up to our ideals, to be once again a champion of human rights and dignity. You have made us a better country. And we are very grateful. And to President Biden, I want to say a personal thanks for your courage, your willingness to speak truth to power, your willingness to honor your commitment, a commitment that so many other presidents made as candidates for president, but failed to honor. You are a man of your word, and we are proud of what you have done today. This recognition comes 106 years after the genocide began. That is a long time to wait for an acknowledgement of the horror of the first genocide of the last century, but it also comes at a very important time, a time when Azerbaijan and Turkey once again made war against the Armenian people, a time when there are fears of another genocide in the making in Arsakh and in Armenia. The President's willingness to speak truth to power is a firm indication that the United States will stand beside its democratic allies, will be willing to stand up to autocrats and dictators and those that would murder their neighbors. So this comes at a very important time. The truth, my friends, my wonderful friends in the Armenian community, the truth at long last. Thank God. As I told Congressman Chip when I was driving over here and I heard on the news that President Biden had acknowledged the genocide, I got teary. This has been a long, hard fought battle. 
each year we think we're going to get close each year I stand in solidarity with my Armenian brothers and sisters and each year I get a letter from Turkey threatening me I will not be bullied I stand tall with you and I again want to thank Congressman Schiff because without you and your colleagues we wouldn't be here standing tall so God bless Armenia we have a lot more work to do, and we're all ready to do it together. Let history not repeat itself. Thank you. I'm proud to represent the 25th State Senate District, home to the largest Armenian community uh, of any district in the country, and to share this wonderful news, this great moment that President Biden has done the right thing. And as it's been said, we all knew this was the right thing, but today all branches of the U.S. government have acknowledged the right thing, and that is historic. And as it's been said, I'm relatively new to this fight, probably 20 years. Um, and I'm from New Jersey and uh, home to another proud Armenian American community. And I remember my mom uh, talking about the Near East relief and the orphans. And I know Nora has a personal connection to that story as well. And I remember her talking about Woodrow Wilson and his connection to the genocide. So I grew up with that education, and that's why I know there are educators here for the Burbank Unified School District as well who teach this generation of how important the genocide is. And so I stand in solidarity with my friends and my neighbors and the Armenian community to say we will never, ever forget. Mishti Shell, we will never forget what transpired 106 years ago, and we will make sure the descendants continue to thrive in California and across the diaspora and that we confront human rights abuses always and consistently because those are our values. So God bless and thank you for letting me share this moment with you because this is a collective moment because what affects one of us affects all of us. A tragedy to one is a tragedy to all. I get to say that, you got to live that. And so God bless you for being so proud and so diligent in your advocacy. And thank you to President Joe Biden for doing the right thing today. God bless. Uh, every year this day in April is a very solemn day for our community, the Armenian community and the greater community in Glendale and Burbank. This year, the sadness and the pain that I've seen on the faces of my constituents, though, is something that I've never witnessed before. As we see aggression against Armenia and Artsakh, unprovoked aggression, war, and murder on Armenian soil, on soil that has been Armenian homeland, soil, fields, towns for a, thousand, for a thousand years. And so while today the news about the genocide recognition from the Biden administration is so welcome and I know will bring a measure of relief and joy to our community, we also have to remember that there are current acts of aggression against the Armenian people that the international community must call out and must stand up against. We can't allow a genocide displacement to happen today in our very midst, in a, under our watch. So I want to also thank Congressman Adam Schiff, who has been such an incredible champion for this cause. The ANCA, Burbank, Glendale, across the, the western states, um, the city of Burbank for holding this event. Uh, Burbank for Armenia and all of the organizations that made today possible and of course the entire congressional delegation and Let's be vigilant and let's be loud about what's happening in Artsakh and Armenia. Thank you all I stand solid with our congressman It's because of him that we're here. He never wavered But I want to keep this short because I have other colleagues here, but I also want to thank the Burbank ANC chapter They've always had an open-door policy and I thank them for continuously working with me as partners to make sure that the people in our community, the Armenians, are well represented and your voice is heard at City Hall. Thank you for having me here and thank you for this privilege. This is a great day in our history as a people of the city of Burbank and of this great country. Thank you. And I'm so very honored to be here. And I'm very inspired that it takes speaking up and not being bullied and persisting and not quitting, never ever giving up. And it took 106 years, but let's continue. Let's stay together. 
and let's continue to speak up and fight for what's right. I'm very honored. Thank you very much. 106 years ago, a tragedy took place, and today the United States government has formally recognized that tragedy. But as so many of uh, my esteemed colleagues have said, the work isn't done. You know, a couple months ago, the city of Burbank revoked our friendship city status with Hadrut. We also took the first step of recognizing the Republic of Artsakh. And that is the next step that we ask of my colleagues in Congress and of our federal government. And as we do this together, we have to remember that we have to be students of history. We must always remember that what happened can never be forgotten, and we must meet ongoing discrimination and violence and genocide with an equal uh, measure of resistance and commitment to freedom and democracy, wherever it is. Thank you all. God bless you all, and thank you to all the organizers of today's event. You know, I was, I was elected in November, and just days after that election, I saw uh, so many of our Armenian brothers and sisters deal with the news coming from Artsakh. Um, there were many uh, Greeks and many Syrians that were taken in those those um, years, 1915, 1916, 1917. And so it is just, it is so appreciative to know that our Armenian brothers and sisters are finally getting the recognition they deserve, getting the acknowledgement of, of what a genocide is. The word didn't even exist 106 years ago. and. Uh, to know that we are able to see it for what it is and to know what happened, uh, that the truth comes to light, is, is so powerful. Thank you so much. I, I'm proud to be a part of this recognition this morning. I want to thank President Biden for the decency and the courage to finally admit the truth on behalf of our country. Uh, it's an incredible step and one that's been long waited for in this community. Uh, I want to thank the ANCA and all their supporters locally. We've uh, it's been my uh, privilege to work with them in my time on the board and to be a, a supporter of theirs as they have been of me. Uh, we will continue to try and, as my colleague said, as a, as a school board, we have recognized the genocide, recognized the need to do more, and we will continue to try and do more. So thank you very much. As a member of the Jewish community, uh, this month we also recognize Holocaust Remembrance Month. And I speak from experience when I say that the only way that healing can begin is when you recognize that a wrong has been committed, when perpetrators admit the wrong they have done, and you can begin to heal. So I am overwhelmed that President Biden today has uh, done the right thing, and the United States has joined in recognizing that this wrong has been committed. It is my hope that this is the beginning of a healing process and that we as members of the Burbank Board of Education can support our Armenian students, our Armenian parents, our Armenian staff and teachers, and that we can continue to educate because never again means all of us. Never again means all of us, whether that's our Armenian community, the Uyghur community in China, the Jewish community. So I stand in solidarity with my Armenian brothers and sisters. I stand in solidarity with all of our students, teachers, uh, faculty and staff when I say how proud I am uh, that the st uh, to stand with President Biden, with Congressman Schiff and others as we, as we begin the healing process by recognizing 106 years too late the Armenian Genocide. So thank you. Marilus Heijerovurt. It is a, and I, by the way, I just said good morning. Armenian people, for those of you who don't speak Armenian. And what a wonderful morning it is. Um, I am Dr. Armand and I'm a member of Burbank Board of Education. And I'm very proud uh, to be here, not only with all of our champions, some of them I've known over 20 years, we've been fighting this fight for, for so long, sorry, I'm not gonna get emotional, but we're here today finally. And thank you, President Biden. Thank you, President Biden, for finally recognizing the truth. Here at Burbank, our school district's also been at forefront, not only recognizing the Armenian genocide, not only making sure that we teach about the past and all the atrocities that happened against 1.5 million 
Armenians. But also we have a zero tolerance when it comes to people that want to deny the past. And trust me, we've been confronted several times when it comes to, you know, the past. And the truth is this happened. It took us 106 years to get here, but we're finally here. But, our, but we need to continue the education, as some of my friends said earlier. As we speak today, the bones of young soldiers being delivered to their parents. Young soldiers who went to the front fighting for their motherland, and they were annihilated by weapons, drones that were purchased by blood oil money from Azerbaijan and Turkey. Let us not forget that as we speak right now, these atrocities continue. So I do want to thank the city of Burbank and Glendale and Burbank Board of Education and my colleagues for asking for the recognition of Artsakh as an independent country, as a nation, but also making sure that we continue our fight. This is not over. We're just getting started. What do you hope that this recognition of the Armenian genocide means to the Armenian community of Burbank? That what they've been fighting for for 106 years is the acknowledgement that the genocide in effect happened and not deny it because of their homeland and their people. This is so important to them. And what do you think Biden's recognition of this genocide means for the future looking ahead? Inclusivity. People matter, their voice. And the Armenian people are part of the structure of the United States of America. And what message do you have specifically to the Armenian community today? We will never forget the loss of their families, their loved ones, and we will continue to represent them to make sure that their voice is at the table. This president came into office uh, with a Congress that was united behind recognition. Um, for 19 years, I carried a bill to recognize the Armenian Genocide with the strong support of my colleague, Representative Chu. Um, that bill passed uh, last session with 405 votes. Uh, that was the first time that bill was taken up on the House floor in decades. Uh, a similar measure in the Senate passed on the unanimous voice vote. So the president understood that should he take the step of recognizing the genocide, that he would have a united Congress behind him. What's more, I think Joe Biden has reached the point of his life uh, and career um, where he is more than ready uh, to um, speak the plain facts of history uh, and damn the consequences. Um, and he comes to office with a lifetime record of being a champion for human rights, uh, someone who understood deeply the, the facts and the history of the Armenian people and of the genocide. Um, so that is what has changed. Uh, and I also think that the backdrop of this terrible war and the threat of future genocides uh, in the region uh, prompted him to act as he did.